18 months on from the storm that rocked financial markets, an uneasy calm has returned to the world of marine insurance. On the face of it, marine underwriters have survived, claims have moderated, and investment returns are growing again. But there are still huge challenges ahead. There is the ongoing pirate menace in the Gulf of Aden. More recently, there are worries about sanctions against Iran and what that will mean for shipping and insurance. Ahead of the forum, we sought out the views of a number of industry experts. If any owner can break even at the moment, that in itself is a fantastic result. Ship owners, if they reduce the value of their ships by 50%, are learning that you're not going to get a 50% reduction in premium. You might get 5% if you're lucky. The fact is that if you have a ship worth 30 million or 50 million dollars, the cost of repairing a crankshaft is going to be the same. So whilst owners want reductions, they're going to be disappointed. In case you have a total loss uh, and you will get only from the uh, insurer uh, 50 or 60 percent, uh, this is not enough uh, even uh, to, to cover the mortgage of the vessel. I suppose top of, the, uh, of everyone's uh, agenda at the moment has to be piracy and concerns for uh, human life and those issues, obviously, and that's getting a lot of publicity. P&I clubs are being very quiet on the issue of piracy. Um, perhaps they're keeping their heads down because they're worried about a flow of claims from crew members who are trapped on the vessels for long periods of time. Piracy, clearly a complete nightmare, but the market is responding by providing K&R cover, professional negotiators and things of that nature. So I think the market is doing what it can do there. Uh, but it is a difficult issue. The clubs are saying, no, this is not, not our cup of tea, so it is not our main task, and um, try what you, what you can, yes. but not with us. Okay. So um, it would be good if the clubs would uh, put a bit more attention to that. I think there are still problems when one uses general average or sue and labour as the solution, in that that's a very slow process, I do not think the cargo owners and cargo insurers are reacting particularly well in that they are trying to find ways out of paying their part of ransoms on the basis of some alleged unseaworthiness of the vessel. It is only a few percent of the GA and even that is then always discussed and um, I think this is not, not a proper way to handle such a case. There's going to be a packed agenda when Tradewinds holds its fourth Marine Risk Forum in Hamburg in May. I'm looking forward to it. It's the third one uh, which I'll be speaking. It's always an enjoyable event. I like Hamburg as a city. I look forward to being there, meeting German ship owners and other people from the shipping community. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a very exciting, lots of very interesting topics, a very exciting forum. I will be joining you in Hamburg for the Tradewinds Forum and I very much look forward to it. Yeah, I, I would be happy to, to join you during Marine Risk Forum. Yes, of course, I will attend to the Marine Risk Forum in Hamburg and I'm very looking forward to attend to that.